to quickly draw the outline. Start with the eyes, then the long trunk, legs, tail, and the big ears. This time, I want to draw a prince elephant. Then use the purple marker to trace the outline, but leave out the eyes. If once is not enough, then we can trace it a few more times. Next, we use the pink color pencil to color the prince elephant. We need to have a bit of patience when we are coloring. Try not to miss any area. Also, color a few times, again and again, because that hamster's secret weapon is beautiful background. Then I think I will ask him to help me with the background as well, so I also have this secret weapon. Dad, hamster, can you help me to do the background? Uh, of course. Uh, what kind of the background do you want? I want sky. Ah, sky is cool. No problem. I will help you. Let's draw a fantasy sky. First, we use a bottle cap to draw a big moon. Then use a gray color oil pastel to draw the outline of the cloud layer by layer. Next, we use a blue and a gray to draw first layer of the sky color. Use fingers to smudge it and make color even. Then we use white and gray color oil pastel to draw clouds. When we are drawing this, we need to be careful of the dark and the light parts of the clouds. The color is brighter on the top part of the clouds and the darker at the bottom part. This way we can show the nice layering of the clouds. For the darker parts, we use the dark blue color or even black. We also use the fingers to smudge it and make a gradual change in the color more natural.
After we draw the clouds, we color another layer of purple of the sky. This way makes the sky look more fantastic. Now we start to use yellow oil pastel to draw the big moon. We can use a dark yellow color for the craters on the moon. Finally, we use a white color pencil and the eye light pen to make the moon brighter.